Okay, guys, pop quiz. When trying to get into a relationship, what is the number one thing you should absolutely not do as a guy? I've talked about it on this show before, so let me know. What should you not be mentioning or doing when you want to get into a relationship with a woman? The answer, time and time again, is you do not be the one to ask for a relationship, and you do not be the one to ask for exclusivity, because if she's not ready, stay with me, guys. If she's not ready, it's probably going to be a no, and you're going to get rejected. And so we got a situation here where this exact thing happened, the thing I talk about time and time again, this guy went out a few times with a girl, long distance, by the way. And this guy made a lot of, of boo-boos as it pertains to stuff he should not be doing. He's done did long distance. He done brought up a relationship conversation. He done simp for her. All this stuff we're going to go into. And I'm going to read over this because I don't want you to make the mistake or continue to make the mistake that most guys make of thinking, well, she's different. I feel things. I can ask for a relationship and it'll be totally fine. And don't buy into the lie that women may tell you that they don't want to be the ones to ask for the relationship. The relationships that tend to work out best are the ones where they come to you and ask for a relationship. So we're going to get into this guy's situation. By the way, if you have any situations you're going through that you want me to answer on one of these shows, leave comments down below or write to me at harry at introvertdatingsuccess.com. You can also go to that website, check out my ebooks, audiobooks, programs, and one-on-one -on -one coaching. Oh, like this video and subscribe. All right. So this guy, he went on three dates and they hooked up on the third date. And then a few days later, she said that their situation has to end. So the story is, uh, she's 26, he's 33. He says, I live an hour, we live an hour away from each other and she's very busy as it is. On the third date, she told me she wanted a long-term relationship, but she's only had long distance relationships and she just can't do another one. Now, we're missing a piece of the story here, which I'll get to later. He says, I said I understood, and maybe we could just continue to get to know each other and see what happens. Well, that should have been the plan the entire time. For the first two to three months of dating, all you guys should ever be concerned about is trying to get to know each other to see what happens. And you know if what's happening is getting into a relationship, when she comes to you around month two or three and says, hey, this has been going pretty well, but what are we? Are we in a relationship? Are you my boyfriend? If she's not doing that, then you should not be bringing it up. Anyway, he says, she agreed. I messed up by saying, if this was casual, I might be okay with that. Well, that's not where he messed up. We'll continue on. So he says, we hooked up. I spent the night. She was so caring, affectionate, complimenting me, cuddly. Why is he using such feminine language to describe this interaction? Like, I don't think you guys are aware that, you know, when you come with these forums and say things like this, that gives us in intel into how you're probably talking and interacting with her in real life. Based on this guy's words, he is probably being somewhat effeminate and women that want masculine men do not like men that are in that way. They want men that are going to be understanding of when they act like that. But more typically, women don't like men that are leaning too much into their feminine. So when he's using words like caring, affectionate, cuddly, cuddly, cuff, really, cuddly, cuddly is a, a highly feminine word. So yeah, I could see how this woman would start to be potentially turned up. But anyway, he says, it just all felt right. I felt no sense of things being off. Well, women in the moment know how to play the part of not being bothered. Even if they are bothered, they know not to show it to you while you're in front of them because they don't know how you're going to react to that. And they just learned over time, okay, I got to play a different role if something's going on that I don't like. And then once he's gone, I can hit him up later and say, actually, we shouldn't see each other. I didn't like that. Do, 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 which is what they'll often do. So then he says, I left her place feeling like a million bucks. Felt like this could be the real thing. A few days later, she calls me saying, she just can't do a long distance relationship again. It hurts because the hookup brought up so many feelings. This is why I tell you guys, just because a woman hooks up with you, it doesn't mean that she's chosen you. It doesn't mean that you are in the top tier running to be her boyfriend. It could just be part of the finding out process. And it could just be because she wants a good time. Like she could have in the moment that the relationship conversation happened, could have been like, well, uh, I feel kind of weird now, but I I'm already really horny. So, I'm going to get my rocks off, and then once he goes home, I can have a talk with him about not wanting to do anything or whatever or be in a relationship. You know, women are very capable of doing that also. So then, he says, looking back, 
I should have seen the signs on the third day. By me suggesting, quote, let's try and see what happens and saying I was maybe okay with casual, she may have felt pressure to agree on the spot or thought it would be okay to hook up with me even though she was unsure about her feelings. But at the same time, casual doesn't mean you hook up with someone then cut them off right after. Well, that's not what's going on. That's the rationalization in his head that he's trying to come up with as to why this happened because his men will do that. We'll try to think of a logical reason for all this stuff tumbling down but you can't really logical out what an emotional feeling is. So yeah, she could have still been freely and called her to the guy and worked the hookup, but that doesn't mean at that point she was feeling that she wanted long-term feelings or romantic feelings for him. Like in today's age, romance feelings and hookup feelings are and can be two different things, even to women. So then he says, I didn't expect to catch the feelings, but I did. That's your problem. You caught feelings or you caught what you thought were feelings and you weren't able to wait until month three to see if she also had those feelings because you needed to know right now and now you're not getting what you want. He says she cut it off and now I'm left feeling extremely down after just three days. Don't hook up with someone you like if it makes you catch feelings. Savage or her part, double on mine. It's not just men who do this. Uh, women, women do it too. And so again, he's thinking that He's thinking that basically that she was out purposely to try to hook up and leave. And I don't think that was the intention at all. I think that this guy was trying to rush into making her feel relationship feelings. And after three dates, that's not a fair thing to do for a woman. And so therefore she was like, I don't want to do that, but we're already here. He's already in my place. Maybe we were already cuddling in bed when this conversation came up. And so even though I'm hearing the words that I don't want to hear, he's touching me, he's feeling me, it feels good. I haven't had any in a month. So you know what? Let's hook up. Oh, that felt great. Oh, wait, this guy still wants a relationship. I got to get out, right? Now, if you notice when I read the initial post, he doesn't say anything about him bringing up a relationship conversation. So we then have to scroll down to the comment section where um, people are, he's responding to comments, people left. And then somebody left the comment that said uh, she didn't like the hookup. The long distance is an excuse. If the hookup was good, she would see you. So we're going to ignore that part, right? But he then says this. He says, she also told me before this happened that she will get close to someone, then pull away and is afraid of commitment, but is in therapy working on it. So if I would have heard that, that would have given me two, two red flags. One of like, she's already telling me that she's the kind to pull away, but also I would have known, okay, if I get into a commitment with her, there's still a chance she could go away, you know? But also I would have been like, realistically, it could be that she's afraid of commitment, but what I also find, having done this for a long time, guys, just being real, is that women that say they're afraid of commitment, it's not that they're afraid of commitment, it's that they date guys who ask them to commit too soon when they have not fully done a full vetting process and been able to have the two to three months to build up their feelings. And at that point, women think, I mean, he took me on three great dates. I should feel a thing to want to be in a relationship, but I'm not. It must be because I'm afraid of commitment. And what's really going on is women need time. Women need to feel things out and it's going to take them more than two or three dates because I can assure you if the right guy comes along to her where he's able to like not talk about anything relationship worthy, any kind of feelings type of thing, Within that first two or three months, by month three, even she's going to be like, he has a proper relationship. But wait, why am I worried about that? Huh, maybe it's because I want a relationship. Am I am I deciding and choosing that I feel things for this guy enough to where I want to be in a relationship? You know what? I got to talk to him about being in a relationship. That's the guy that she's going to get with, not the guy that comes to her after three dates and does this next thing, which he didn't put in the original post. He says, um, added the, the hookup complicated her feelings. He says, I messed up when I said, let's be exclusive because when I, because when I asked is when the conversation led to things ending. So now we got to recontextualize what he said earlier. And what he said earlier was on the third date, she told me she wanted a long-term relationship. So what actually happened? He said to her, um, Hey, we should be exclusive. And then she said, she wanted a long-term relationship, but she's only had long-distance relationships and she just can't do another one. So now we know that she lied, but she lied because on the third day, he came along and decided to say, hey, 
I think we should be exclusive. How do you feel about being in a relationship? What kind of relationship do you want to have? At which point she then said, well, I want a long-term relationship, but just not a long distance one. At which point he said, that's cool. We can just be casual for now. And so it wasn't her, him saying that he wanted to be casual that killed this thing. It was him voicing on day three that he wanted any kind of relationship with her at the point in time where she had not done her due diligence. Because if she had been the one coming to him, they would have stayed together. This wouldn't be a situation. But because by the third day, he was spilling the fields, and then he projected out that therefore she's also filling the fields. Remember, I tell you guys, we feel things three times faster in a relationship situation than women do because we're the ones that are like extra horny, don't get a lot of action, and want to spread our seed. That's just biologically how we're built to want to just make a quick decision about women we see and say, yep, her, I want her. Women are not built that way. They are nesters. They need to take time to decide if you're the right person that they want to nest with. And so therefore, even if they have a high interest in you at the beginning, it'll still take them two or three months before they're willing to voice that they actually want you in a relationship. Okay? So hopefully this guy's situation has better shown you why you as a guy should never, never be asking for a relationship. I don't care if it's been two and a half months and you're a skip, you're scratching the bubble like, oh my God, it's been so long. You wait. I don't, if it's been six months and she hasn't come to you, that's a problem. You got to worry about that. But until she comes to you, one, you're still a free agent. Kudos. But also, also, you're going to have a better chance of getting into a relationship and having it last if you wait for the woman to come to you when she's solidified her decision, which is going to make it less likely for her to want to leave you and ask you for the relationship. It really is that simple. But let me know your guys' thoughts. Hey, I could be tripping. Let me know down below what your thoughts are about what I just said, what I talked about. It pertains to women being the ones that come and ask for a relationship versus men. And also, guys, if you have questions you want me to answer on the show, leave them in the comments. Also, you can write to me at Harry at introvertdatingsuccess.com. Also, go to introvertdatingsuccess.com and check out my ebooks, audiobooks, and programs, as well as my one on one coaching, all designed to help you be a better dater and get the women you truly desire. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.